Okay, I figured it out. I know why people were complaining. They wanted a loud type episode. Mm-hmm. Oh, mm. hell yeah. I gave them something smooth and, and velvety. I thought, oh, you yeah. know what? We're going to go subtle. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like my dick. And everybody filled their filled their pants about not the episode not being too loud, which is usually a problem. Mm-hmm. Yes. I've always felt that the show is way too fucking loud. Mm-hmm. And I right. wanted a nice... Something smooth, yeah, dulcet. Yes. Like a a a a AR-15. <laughs> AS, wait, ASMR. A- oh, ASMR. Oh, ASMR. Oh, ASMR, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah we've been talking about that yeah, quite a bit. Yeah, that's my man, ASMR. <laughs> <laughs> that boy quiet as y'all, hell. Y'all know ASMR? <laughs> Yo, my head be tingling when ASMR be talking. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that girl. Y'all, y'all ever listen to ASMR? <laughs> <laughs> nah, who's she? <laughs> Man, who's ASMR? <laughs> Man, shoot, I didn't pay attention for a damn week. <laughs> I don't even know who this damn Aya girl is. <laughs> yeah, you know ASMR. <laughs> ASMR. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, she used to be in... Uh, in 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 three cousins, <laughs> that, the female group three cousins, <laughs> and it was three women that were unrelated, but their last name was cousin. Was, oh, <laughs> I thought her last name was some more. It is. Oh, okay. Uh, more. Her name is AS more. <laughs> AS some more cousins. Yeah. ASSMR. What's that? ASS. Yeah, that's not bad. Like ass. When you fuck someone in the ass and and Mister Ass, Mister Ass. ASMR is supposed to make your head tingle, right? That's what people say. Your spine, I think, too. Ooh, your yeah. spine. I it's, get it when I get shampooed at the at the Really? At well, the that's just a shop. great feeling. It feels incredible. I know, because I get shampooed all the time. Yeah. Um, I don't get I don't, I, I don't... I, I insist that they don't touch my head when I go to the barbershop. Interesting. Wait, just scissors? Just, just the metal? No, yeah. I no just hand say, to hand? Yeah, you fucking... The no scissors scalp have contact? Hand, the scissors have handles on them. First of all, stop interrupting me. <laughs> <laughs> Second of all, I will describe the process that takes place at the barbershop. Continue. Number one, first of all, barbershop quartet is mandatory in the barbershop. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. I don't know why the fuck you think you can get away with having a haircutting business if there aren't men singing. Mm-hmm. Yep. I want some harmonizing males. Absolutely. One yeah. better have a deep ass voice. Yeah. One better sound very back like a, when chi- we, a Back when child. we knew what to do with gay men. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> You got a job <laughs> pouring soda pop. That's right. Down yep. at the pop stand and you mm-hmm. s- you sang songs. And yep. you fucking hung out with my bored ass wife while I'm at the. That's right. I'm at the missile making factory. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like getting my get my hair cut by a guy that a fellow GI. Uh-huh. We're both in middle management, making the modern day equivalent of eighty two million dollars <laughs> a year. <laughs> a modest Christian living. Nineteen fifties America. That's right. So cryptocurrencies and the regular stock market are crashing. Yep. That's yeah. right. I want to talk about old gay guys. I hope Adam did actually buy, quote unquote, buy the dip like he thought he was doing. Oh, I'm buying ago. the dip on the market and on the crypto. I bought dip. I bought stock in yeah, dip. Yeah, yeah. Skull. Yeah. Skull. Dude. Yeah. That's right. I that's dipped my back. dip in his mouth yeah. when he was asleep. <laughs> that's crazy. I did yeah. That's what too. I call investing. <laughs> yeah. Yep. That's what I call buying the dip. <laughs> I, was, I was wearing a vest when I did it. My tactical weight vest. <laughs> I put because so, by yourself you can get pretty deep, but when you have the vest really weighing you down, you you dip your dick as far into you get your uh-huh. dick all the way in there, baby. You put your you feel that some... weight that weighted vest pushes my pelvic bone uh-huh. oh, all yeah. the way down your fucking throat. That's right. He can feel you're, he can feel a little stomach acid on the tip of his you're, cock. You're fan, you're fantasizing about wearing no. Uh, this is something that actually it's called happened. investing. You I'm fucking a, yeah, idiot, you moron! I've, investing. I've, I've Did never, you miss that? Having an I'm erotic fantasy. I'm incapable of fantasizing. You're having an erotic. You're the one that sits around reading books dream. like The Secret. <laughs> I don't read you The do, Secret. You do magical thinking at home. Not me though. I'm I accomplish. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. I don't ever visualize. When Nick dreams, nope. there's it's nothing just, in, inside it's static. my head. Do, do, do. It's static from an old TV. Oh, you know, just yeah. It's the national anthem and then yeah. static. Mm-hmm. I remember That's in cool. school they played reports. this video that explained to us what like dyslexia was or uh-huh. something. And uh, it was like, it's like a TV, but all the wires are crossed. I'm like, so that's what it's like in a retarded kid's brain? And they're like, no, please don't use this to bully the retarded kids. Yeah, that's what they told you. Not yeah. You weren't the only one getting that speech alone in a fucking room. Yeah, I love, I love bullying. 
<laughs> disabled. <laughs> disabled. I was just saying earlier today, you know, I remember 10 years ago, I thought intellectually disabled wouldn't catch on, but now it's kind of, it's, it works. Mm-hmm. You know, it works better than mentally retarded. Yeah. You're saying that you d- you didn't think people would start using that term? Intellectually disabled? Yeah. yeah. I mean, it sounds like... Sounds too or serious. Or is that just a diss you made up that caught on as the PC term? No. No, that's no. not... It's not a good diss. It's too serious. Mentally retarded is a much better diss. Mm-hmm. Oh, intellectually it's the best, it's the best diss of all time. Yeah. Intellectually disabled just sounds like you're stupid, which I guess sort of is what we're talking about here. Yeah. Yeah, maybe you are. Um, yeah, no, I just didn't think that, uh, the people would actually say intellectually disabled. You, oh, That's going to okay. start being, well, it would sound like it, after time it would sound like it was bad, you know, like special became, it like, will though, mm-hmm. eventually. No, it hasn't. I don't think it will. No, it's going to, it's going to, it's going to, they're going to do something else. Maybe, maybe we finally found the word, you know, cause it's not fun. Intellectually disabled. Well, wait, isn't disabled? Oh, no, handicapped is bad. I was watching videos of this Down Syndrome guy that enters powerlifting competitions. Hell, yeah, and he wins all of them. And, like, places. You know, he yeah. gets in, like, third or whatever. Is and that then, fair? That's kind of like taking steroids. Yeah, it's I not mean, fair. I mean, imagine how much that... No, they're not actually stronger. It's like... Down I'm, Syndrome people have, like, horrific core strength. Oh, really? Yeah, I think their limbs work the same, but, yeah, they don't have very good core strength. Why is that? I don't know. It's part of the disease. Whoa. Wow. Really? What if yeah. they did some Billy Blank's Tai Bo? Um, maybe well, their dad was shooting Billy Blanks. You know? <laughs> <laughs> that's what happened. Um, uh, Ty Ty Bo is uh, oh man, mm-hmm. I'm trying to think. You about got it. it. Okay, I All believe right. in you, man. I'm All spotting right. you right now. You're pushing me up the mountain. Yep. Yep. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Visual Ty Bo, come on, baby, we got it. Ty, are we doing Asian? Ty, Ty Bo is when the Down syndrome guy misspells something on the computer. <laughs> There it is. We always believed in you, Nick. Well you done. always had it in you, Thanks. man. Well done. <laughs> I did it, Tybo. I did it, Tybo. <laughs> That's really good. Thanks. Listen, man, when you looked down, there was two sets of footprints. Yeah. Because mm-hmm. I was lifting your feet while I was fucking you in the That's, ass oh, okay. on the beach. <laughs> but then wouldn't there be one, or set, one set of footprints? <laughs> <laughs> you get it, man. <laughs> I get it. Yeah, that makes sense to me. <laughs> Um, <clears throat> so he did good in the weightlifting competition. Oh yeah, thing? yeah. No, he comes in in like uh, third or whatever. He places every nice. time. Uh-huh. Which yeah. can you imagine? You're like a, you take powerlifting pretty seriously. Yeah. And you show up and you're like, you got your dumb little rubber suit on. Yep. And, that little belt. You know, you're fucking your belt. S- smelling salts and you know you're listening to a tray you <laughs> and your fucking your SRT Raptor out in the parking lot and you're like, dude. Bro, I'm gonna go in there and I'm gonna prove that my, my that black guy that's fucking my wife now isn't better than me. I'm gonna do it once and for all. And then you get in there and then it's like, oh, looks like Down syndrome Mikey's making an appearance today. And you're like, God damn it! I've, every time that Down syndrome man takes the only thing I have away from me. Is, is squatting weights that mentally retarded character <laughs> that ID? Yeah, he's what about my, d- my Dick Dastardly? Is that Down syndrome guy? Mm-hmm. Dick Down syndrome. Dick Downstardly. <laughs> Who's Dick Dastardly? I don't know. Dick Dastardly is that cartoon character that ties up women and puts them on the train. Oh uh, nice. yeah, the the curly mm-hmm. mustache. Yeah. If you use that as a verb, that's me when I have sex. I Dick, Dick Dastardly. Dastardly. Dick Downwardly. Yeah. yeah. Downward. Downward Dick. Dick. That's my favorite <laughs> yoga yoga position. Oh yeah, it's just my cock is down, is hard but down. I push it down. That sex um, position where it's just like the pogo stick type of thing. Mm-hmm. It's very funny. <laughs> like I can't take myself seriously. Do you mean you're that. laying completely horizontal and your dick is just straight vertical? No, you're like you're like up and then oh they're bouncing on your cock like a pogo no, stick. No, no, they're like. Kind of on the mattress, and then yeah, you're, yeah. you're sort of. Oh, you, wait, you're, you're sort of doing the pogo stick. Well, yeah, why would you, you do I that? Saw, I was uh, <laughs> watching porn the other so, day. Wait, you're doing, you're doing uh, cowboy, not cowgirl, cowboy. It's like, yeah, it's like the girl's <laughs> ass is in She's the air. She's grabbing your hips and moving you. The girl's up and down. ass is in the air, and then your penis is facing downward. We need to oh, do a reverse. check in and and, uh, on Adam's weight. What are you weighing these days? I think I'm weighing 109. I think no, I think I'm weighing mo- 97 like the most. pounds. No, no, I think I'm weighing the most I've ever weighed, which is probably like 148. 
Oh damn, dude! Yeah, yeah which is around the same as you're Nick. Fat, probably. Dude. No, I'm one fifty seven now. Yeah, I gained seven Whoa. pounds from that box of Teddy Grahams. Yeah, well, yeah, there you go. Yeah, I got pretty fucking lean last week, though. Hey man, I'm gonna get back. It's all about looking at your abs for yourself. Yeah, and not quite beating off, but wishing you were aroused. Oh, I beat, to beat off, off looking at my abs in the mirror. <laughs> you beat off in the mirror <laughs> only when I have abs. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. That's true. Yeah. Same. I mean, why not? You know, I'm a businessman now. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And that's what businessmen do. Mm-hmm. They all look at their abs and beat off in the mirror. And then they get other businessmen with abs to come over. I think that's what Occupy was about, is to get them to stop doing that. <laughs> <laughs> we got to make these guys stop doing that thing where they jack off to themselves. It's destroying the A guy who man. only think, who think businessmen are just from uh, American Psycho or whatever. Not American Psycho. Is that the one? That part is... Uh, How that, about American Tybo, and it's about a retarded guy? <laughs> <laughs> it's about one Tybo that changed yeah, yeah. course of history. <laughs> Don't just stare at it, eat it. <laughs> There's like two prostitutes, and one of them's got a bunch of Swedish fish. <laughs> <laughs> Don't just stare at it, eat it. His, instead of business cards, it's his Pokemon cards. Yeah, you know he's got, he's got <laughs> yeah, yeah, a really yeah. good Pokemon deck. Yeah. <laughs> if you excuse me, I have to go return some video tapes. <laughs> <laughs> he's just—he's got that guy sitting on his couch while he's describing why Raffy's great. <laughs> well, when Raffy first released this album, it was kind of down tempo, and many people didn't understand it. But if you really listen to Rappy's lyrics, it's not about the wheels on the bus so much as it is about the bus itself. <laughs> American Tybo. Based on the coloring book by Brett Easton Ellis. <laughs> Based on the Chuck Palahniuk coloring book, <laughs> American Tybo. Oh, yeah, dude, sign me up for that shit. <laughs> <laughs> Damn boys, so what? You know, we talked about Dow Jones. What are you, what are your financial hot takes, Nick? How about Downs Jones? <laughs> there we go. And it's, a, yeah. it's like a cool black guy with Downs. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> yep, yep, yep. How y'all doing? <laughs> what y'all y'all talking about finance? <laughs> Oh, there you are, buddy. It's down. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, nice. Downs Jones down six points in Mario Party today. <laughs> His favorite game. <laughs> Ain't nothing, baby. We're coming back, baby. You know it. <laughs> ain't, ain't a thing, Slick. <laughs> <laughs> so he's also a 70s black retar- or Down syndrome yeah, guy Yeah, he's like yeah, older, yeah. cool Yeah, that's cool Yeah That's cool Got a nice what's, hat What's going on, Jack? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I like that girl She's foxy <laughs> She's so foxy to me <laughs> uh, It would be funny to teach a bunch of Intellectually disabled people Old slang Yeah, that would be you cool know? Yeah And then they're to just talking amongst and everyone's uh-huh. confused. It's like, is that part of the disease? Mm. Are they behind like thirty years <laughs> on slang? <laughs> you could probably yeah. convince someone of that. I'm sure that's what people would think that it's part <laughs> of the disease, <laughs> <laughs> or part of the thing. You know? Yeah. No, yeah. I hear that. <laughs> <laughs> that makes sense to me. You know what I'm saying, man? Uh huh. <laughs> just got kinda, that would be pretty. Kind of cool. sets them back. <laughs> yeah. Um. <clears throat> When I started smoking weed again, Hell I got yeah, high dude. the other night, and I watched another Steve Harvey special. Very nice. Which I've done before. I used to do that. That was my old, my old move when I would get high is mm-hmm. watch Steve Harvey specials. Are they on Netflix? I don't know. They're on YouTube. Okay. Um, but, uh, yeah, no, I, I was watching one that was shot in 2001, and he's dressed in a yellow zoot suit. Oh, so yeah. it's like six years after the mask came out. Salute. So there's no way that, like... Nobody stopped him and was like, "Steve, you yeah. look like the mask." Well, he said, "Somebody stop." Somebody me. stop, Steve. Yeah. Somebody stop, Steve. He's yeah. like, "P A R T Y." <laughs> well, you shouldn't be. <laughs> Somebody needs to lock these kids up. <laughs> now he has this fucking hilarious bit on on that special where he's like, he's like, uh, "Men ain't shit," 
And women need a man. Here's, here's what you got to do is you got to assemble a man. He's like, Beautiful. so you're going to get oh, four okay. different type of men. He's like, the first mm-hmm. type of man you're going to get is a gay man. <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, because yes. he wants to listen to all your yes. stories. Yes. <laughs> yeah. He'll yes, listen to all your true. stories. And he goes, because he, he'll sit there and listen to you all day because he's just trying to, you know, pick up a couple of traits so he can go downtown and get a man of his own. Incredible. <laughs> the gay, gay men, men need to hang learn Hang out from with women, women to copy. <laughs> 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 to go downtown. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck yeah, that rules. Yeah. That's a great understanding of gay men. Mm-hmm. Who are the other three guys? It's an old guys? man. An old man. Sure. Okay. Um, I forget mm-hmm. what the third one was, and then the last one is... Uh, a mandingo type. Yes. To oh, fuck you. To blow your back out. And right, yeah, exactly. Ooh. Interesting. You know, so he's like, you get the mandingo, comes and fucks you. The other guy, the other guy takes care of your kids. He's like, oh, okay. you get a nice guy. <laughs> yeah. You get a nice guy to take care of your kids. You get the fucking old guy to pay for, you know, mm. the night out. Uh. The mandingo fucks you. And then the punchline, the big punchline at the end is, and then you call up that sissy and tell him all about it. Oh, <laughs> no. <laughs> Which, uh, honestly, structurally, great joke. Yeah. It is, yeah. The whole fucking thing is, like, perfectly done. Yeah. It's like, a, it's like a, it harkens back to a time where stand-up actually took effort, and it's not like... Hearing yeah. Sissy, though, is like, that's when they, like, Sissy's catches rough. me off guard. Yeah, because yeah. yeah, yeah. it's, it's... That's you know. 1950s. <laughs> that's like... <laughs> mm-hmm. You call up that Nancy boy. <laughs> that's pretty good. Yeah. That's you, Adam. He's talking about you and that and Nancy? story. You are, yeah, you're the Sissy. Yeah. I don't like listening to anyone's anything. That's true. Let alone problems. Yeah. yeah. You don't even listen to other sentences coming out of the mouths of people I speaking even directly to, myself to you. You're doing talking. a podcast with. I listen, guys. I've listened attentively because I've been playing with this bottle opener in my mm, head. Something to fidget with. It mm-hmm. helps me. Uh, fo- Man, I, I stopped by, I stopped by the Victor Renox flagship store. The yeah, what? we went there before. The what? Yeah. yeah. In What's Soho. Vic- I was with a, the Swiss Army Knife store. I was with oh, okay. an associate of mine who was in the market for a knife. <laughs> <laughs> so we went to the Victor- Lewis? No. <laughs> we went to the Victorinox store to purchase a knife and I said, these are life got a lifetime warranty on them, right? Uh-huh. And they were like, yes, we don't actually service them here, but we can send it off for you. To Switzerland? And yeah, they they mailed my fucking knife uh, off. To the fucking Alps, baby. To have it re- re-machined. Wow. Beautiful. Cool. Which is like, I didn't think I'd be one of those guys that would go get his knives re <laughs> but here I am. But now it's like I, I keep panicking and thinking I've lost my keys because I don't have the weight of that knife uh-huh. in my pocket. Oh, so you keep the knife on deck. He's always got it. I, I always I always carry a blade on me. <laughs> <laughs> Tybo, is that I never, you? I never, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, uh, I was doing Will Keith. Oh, okay. You know that big, that big fat guy that has the sword videos? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. He calls yeah, the swords yeah. and says, blades. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That guy rules. <laughs> yeah. Well, the most important part of the blade is when you open a new blade. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah, dude! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that rocks. Wait, who needed a, who needed a knife? Uh, it's an associate of mine. <laughs> Wait, what are you doing? What do you mean? What do you mean? I'm what not are you doing d- with the associates. I got a lot of I got a lot of people that I talk to, spend time with, do favors for me. That's okay. not true, dude. You got me in stock. No, I got I got hookups. Yeah, oh, I got all hookups. I got all kinds of deals. Oh yeah, you got you, you got a guy at the Apple Store, right? No, he he quit the Apple Store. Where's he working now? He sells I don't knives. Know. He actually, yes, that's the he's one guy. The, he actually yeah, yeah. sent me his resume to be a producer on the show. So okay. obviously, he's not doing too well. Is he? Like I said, <laughs> he's got to either be a gay guy, which we have, or someone with big tits. Right. What's that? The two kinds of producers: gay yeah. guy you make fun of, or girl. No, he seemed like a nice guy. So he, he uh-huh. We'll see qualified. how much people hate that. I think I think I got it figured out this time. Okay, nice. I listened back to it. It sounds fine. We yeah. all listen to it. It sounds fine. I didn't listen to it. Well, it sounds fine. <laughs> <laughs> and maybe a little bit quieter than the other ones, but everything. Oh, quieter than the one last week. Uh, yes. <laughs> okay, good, perfect. <laughs> well, I want to go a little bit quieter. <laughs> yes, yes, yes you know? of course. I think that might... Help. Mm-hmm. A little mm-hmm. bit softer now. Smooth, like we mentioned in the beginning. Smooth operator. Silky. Dulcet. What does dulcet mean? I've Smooth heard that. brain. It's just a... Dulcet tones? A, yeah, it's just a word people use that no one knows the meaning But does of. it mean like quiet? Does I think it, it means like... quiet or smooth or yeah. pleasing <laughs> or something. I know it's good. Yeah, like a lullaby yeah. is dulcet maybe. I mean, I'm not going to look that shit up. Yeah, I don't, I don't mean either. Fuck it. Fuck it, baby. But I do want to know actually now that I say it. But I'm whatever. horny. You want Adam just like you are? Yeah. 
Adam, get to work. <laughs> For what? <laughs> I'm <on>. horny. <laughs> Typo. <laughs> <laughs> Do they have, <laughs> they have gay people in their community? Yes, of course, of course dude. Yeah. We've been over this. Yeah, you're yeah. one of them. Mm. You're gay and retarded. <laughs> <laughs> That's fine. Uh, I had a friend who used to teach at a school for the intellectually disabled. I rewatched that video that Pia Glenn made of the what? Pia Glenn's Black Weekend update, where she goes in on me. Oh, I don't remember that. No. Oh, yeah. She's like, uh, she's like, there's a writer on Thought Catalog named Nicole Mullen, which is really Nick Mullen. Awesome. Ooh. Posts this goofy ass picture. I mean, it's a really funny segment. Oh, really? She yeah, gets yeah, you yeah. good. She doesn't really. Oh, it's not. It's not. Okay. I mean, it's like, it's like this is just a fucking white man doing like base level comedy. And it's like, yep. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> you got us, baby. <laughs> and she's like, she's like, it's not, and it's not funny. It's like makes me laugh. I don't know. I don't Who know what to tell you. Pia? Yeah, Pia. Pia what? in my mouth. <laughs> Her Pia name Glenn. Is She's Salman Rushdie's ex girlfriend. Oh, nice. Oh, nice. Sal- Salman gets, gets lays the pipe, pipe, dude. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he's he funny. Salman, Salman Rushdie. That's my, that, that might be my sex idol. Because <laughs> if Salman. Rushdie? I want to yeah. be the number one fat, bald guy. Yeah, that just fucks. the ugliest yeah, shit, bald long. guy that's well, like, yeah, girl, you shit, know. But. You know. Man, these Muslims is trying to kill my ass. <laughs> and like, he's so dangerous. Oh my god! Oh, do so... I need to get a fatwa? Oh yeah, my you need god! A fatwa. I need a he's fatwa. He's so dangerous. Muslims want to kill him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, uh, you know, I drew Muhammad. I'm about to draw Muhammad. I was just gonna say that. I'm about to draw Muhammad right now. If they'll get me pussy, mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm gonna get an etch a sketch. How you? But you need to get the the whole country of Iran to want to kill yeah. you. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. You got to write some satanic verses, baby. Yeah. Will I get to fuck a hot Iranian girl? The ghost? satanic hook. Mm-hmm. The satanic chorus. Mm-hmm. I would love to. Yeah. Um, That sounds great. Is that what he did? He did some satanic shit? He wrote a book called, called The Satanic Verses. The Satanic verses. verses. Oh, nice. And it's about the devil? Yeah. It's no, pussy. it's about how Muslims, <laughs> are, the, Muslims yeah. are the devil. Oh, damn. Something like that. Okay. Yep. Damn, I really like About how they use their hand to wipe their ass. <laughs> One hand and one to eat, yeah. which yeah. I think is a good system, actually. Well, um, I mean, you know, I mean, is that as that's not as bad as the French who just don't wipe at all? Yep, yep, that's, that's right. True. That's why you have hair in your ass because <laughs> the hair wipes your ass. <laughs> <laughs> why would that? Why would that take the poop out? <laughs> it's to me, it is better to leave it in because. Uh, you know, it's a uh, style. Mm, it looks good. When you have uh, your ass cheeks completely covered in diarrhea. <laughs> yeah. I went to uh, Metrograph the other night. To see what? Lola. What is that? Like an old movie? Yeah. Oh, it cool. sounds like a movie in the 50s about a slut. It is. Really? <laughs> it's, yeah. it's not not Lolita. No, it's no. not Lolita. I didn't... Your favorite movie. I didn't say the name of the movie wrong. Yeah. You might have forgot that. Lolita, yeah. the part that I see you watch every time I come. You're only, you're always watching yeah. a couple specific scenes from that movie, Adam. Mm. Every um, time I come into yeah. your home, it's yeah. kind of weird. It's the scene with uh, Dustin Hoffman's penis. <laughs> yeah, it's <you're> just <laughs> slow motion, <laughs> putting the part where you see his cock. You've actually edited so that That's you don't see a woman Lolita. anywhere. Whatever, man. You're watching that. <laughs> Maybe it's not Lolita, but and actually sometimes it's just you just Google Dustin Hoffman's penis. Yeah, sometimes that's, I, that's what I that's what I, I don't thought. Remember, man. His Who penis cares? isn't in that movie. Yeah, his penis isn't. The in that point movie. is, you 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 look at Dustin Hoffman's penis a lot when I come into your apartment. Yeah, he's a good actor. Dustin, yeah. dust, Dustin, dust him Hoffman. Yeah. That's when the, the yeah. Adam Adam fills his bug get mouth his, with a bunch of dust. Get his old does the grapefruit trick. Yeah, I got him pretty good there. <laughs> Tybo. <laughs> Tybo. He well, keeps uh, up. All right, tonight on Rose Battle, what everyone's been fucking waiting for, Louis J. Gomez will battle a man with Down syndrome. <laughs> <laughs> Who will win? Honestly, we all pretty much know the answer immediately. <laughs> but who's going to win in the fucking boxing match slash spelling bee afterwards? <laughs> we also know who will yeah. win that one. <laughs> That'd be uh, cool if Tybo was an insult comment. <clears throat> I mean, how far away are we from that? From having a, re- a, a retarded guy would be <laughs> awesome at gross battles. Yeah. Oh, he'd crush. Louis, you dumb Louis, bitch. Louis <laughs> calls himself the Puerto Rican rattlesnake because he lives under a rock with his career 
And he, he makes a bunch of noise. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Last joke. <laughs> um, damn. What else, boys? What else is going on in damn current events? You know, the Super Bowl. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Hell of a Philadelphia. game. Nick, did you watch it? I watched, uh, yeah, actually, I was shooting pool, but it was on. Oh, nice. It was Where, an entertaining game. It was a good yeah, ass game. Yeah, it was really dude. good. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I was at Amsterdam. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I watched it. Yeah, it was I, fun. I loved it. Yeah. Um, they the, ate dogs. They ate horse shit, Philly. Philly fans ate horse shit to celebrate, I guess. Yeah, that rules. That was, <laughs> what? I don't know, There's man. a video of, There's like, on video Broad of Street. They're, eating horse shit. They were, like, flipping over cars, and there was pandemonium, and then some dude in a... Donovan McNabb jersey. They were like, "Do it, do it." <laughs> <laughs> His face is just in the horseshit. That he just he just eats it like very delicately, and then everyone starts to. I, I mean, that that's too. better than people were expecting hate crimes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. So if all we got was somebody eating horse shit, that's a yeah. that's great. No, the racist team lost. You know. It's, yeah, I guess. Yeah, that's. I mean, that's was the narrative everyone put in, and you know. Yeah, fuck, that, no, fuck, fuck that. Tom Brady sure. lost, and the and and uh, it was a win for all POCs. Mm-hmm. Well, um, they they already said they're not going to the White House. All of them, all of them, as a team, cool. were like, fuck. Trump. I like that because mm-hmm. um, they got Chris Long. Shouts out to Chris Long. He he. How fucking, about his name for retarded people? It's people of colored pencils. <laughs> 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 people of coloring books. <laughs> well, as a person of coloring books. <laughs> <laughs> That's where we go after intellectually disabled <laughs> POCBs. <laughs> uh, oh fuck, dude! Uh, <clears throat> yeah, it was that was really cool, and um, the one Cometown related aspect of the game that was really just the background was, of course, the fact that Tom Brady was outed as a sun kisser yep. on the lips. He's gay with his. So it was. Kind, I was kind of torn son. because. On one hand, I don't want New England to win. Right, but on the but other hand, we got to support. He was gay with his son. Someone being gay with their dad. Yeah, right. it was, yeah. yeah, yeah. So, and he's been gay with his dad. He's kissed his dad on the lips. He kissed his, and Belichick kissed his daughter on the but lips. That doesn't count. That's not being gay with your dad. Well, that was just hot. That yeah. was just some <laughs> sexy shit. Dude. That, that was too just that was too normative for us. Oh yeah. Um, also, I watched two bills. It's a documentary about Bill Belichick when he was younger and Bill Parcells. Bill Parcells. Yeah, and the thirty for thirty. Bill Parcells has just. An awesome, like, he's so fat in, like, a fucking, like, lunch lady way. Yep. Uh, and and uh, Bill, or Bill Parcells, and Bill Belichick just... Has no personality. He looks awesome, though. He's wearing, like, short shorts in the 70s. It kind of rules. Yeah. It's nice to see, you know, fat old guys, how they used to be sexy. Um, heads up, motherfuckers. I just, uh, I just I said okay to this guy to print this order off. So I got t-shirts coming, at least Woo! one design. So I guess I'll be up up front. I uh, I bought a domain name, and the plan is to just put a storefront on there because mm-hmm. I don't think there's no reason to have a fucking website. There's been some sort of like dispute going on between the Reddit people about like a Discord server, what which the fuck is that? I don't know. What's what it that is. mean? I don't know what it is. It's like a way for people who to get like form? the show to chat with each other. So oh, I was like, like somebody told me to set one up through Patreon because Patreon has some kind of integration. But I guess like what that would mean is that people would have to pay money to just talk to, to other chat. people. Yeah, talk to other people who like like the show. Yeah, which, what if they don't subscribe? To yeah, Patreon? yeah. That's yeah. so that's a waste. So just for the URL, what it's going to be is like if you subscribe to the Patreon, you'll be able to log in and you get like free shipping and like five dollars off like merch orders. Cool, so that's cool. Yeah. Uh, very and then, generous. And then at some point, no, it's just business, you fucking idiot. I think it's very generous. <laughs> I would make back the... the I'm calling f- you would, a good I guy. I would make right back now. the fucking percentage point as soon as the second month rolls out. It's over. not well, business. Sorry, sorry, it's Nick. not personal. It's business, man. Sorry, Nick. I'm gonna, I, I think you're a good guy and you can't change my mind about that, okay? Shut up. Adam's home address is <laughs> <laughs> to be disclosed. Uh, if you subscribe to the Patreon. If you're, if you're yeah. a Nazi premium. subscriber, you get Adam's home $15 address. A month. Premium you can subscribers. Figure out will. where I lay my head every night. Uh, yeah. But also, I'm excited about this. Boys, vouch for me. Tell everyone how nice it's a the good shirt ass looks. Shirt the shirt looks really good. We're very proud of yeah, Nick. It's just one right design. now. But I'm, uh, So, what I'm going to do is. And I'll, I'll say this. If you hit me up on Instagram for now, once I get the shirts in until I can set up the storefront, because it's going to cost, I guess, a decent amount of money to just have that storefront mm-hmm. set up mm-hmm. from the guy I talked to. Um, 
uh, if you want a shirt, I'll I'll put the design on Instagram, and then we'll just do PayPal for now. Mm-hmm. But if you are a premium subscriber, hold off until I can set up the storefront so you can get the discount. Okay. Yeah. That sounds fair. That sounds And fair. also, while we're doing this uh, right now, we have a show at Caroline's on the 15th, which I'm not sure how well... We've gotten the word out about it. But, oh, yeah. We yeah. really need to promote that because we, we've re- only yeah. sold like four tickets. <laughs> Have we? <laughs> I think so. <laughs> I don't know. I haven't checked. Uh, yeah. So next week on Thursday, we're doing a live come town at Caroline's on Broadway. And we're going to be doing the full hour 15 or whatever. Just the three of us on stage. So it won't be like Funny Moms where it's us fucking around at the beginning for 20 minutes and then stand up. It's just going to be us doing a live podcast. Um, mm-hmm. baseball on the one in DC, it went really well. So yeah, please come out. Please come out. And it's a, if you haven't been to Caroline's before, it's pretty cool to see a show there. Yeah, I'm gonna email them now and figure out where our ticket sales are at. Uh, we're yeah. gonna take a quick break, and we'll be back in a second to have sex. Hey everybody, uh, guess what? Take off your underwear, throw it away, because we got some brand new underwear for you, Mac Weldon. It's better than whatever you're wearing right now. Mack Weldon is a brand new underwear company that believes in smart design, premium fabrics, and simple shopping. Go online. It's the easiest online shopping experience you'll ever have. I've done it myself. It was great. I got some great underwear. I got some very comfortable sh- socks, shirts, undershirts, mm. hoodies, and sweatpants. Most comfortable hoodies and sweatpants I've ever had. Uh, they got a line of silver underwear and shirts that are naturally oh, yeah. antimicrobial, which is a... Neil deGrasse Tyson term for uh, they eliminate odor. Uh, They want you to be comfortable. So if you don't like your first pair of underwear, uh, you can keep it. And Mack Weldon will refund you. No questions asked. So it's a nice little scam to get a free pair of underwear. And not only do they uh, make underwear, socks, and shirts that look good, they also perform well, too. So you can wear them to CrossFit, wear them to the gym, wear them to your second CrossFit session for the day, go out on a date, leave the date early to go back to CrossFit, keep the underwear on, you know, shower with the underwear on, immediately go right back to CrossFit. Mm -hmm. Four CrossFit sessions a day. And I still, I don't fuck anymore, but I go to CrossFit a lot, and I've been wearing Mack Weldon underwear the whole time. keeps me tight in the hole. (laughs) And what hole is that? Squatting? No, K-hole. I'm fucked up on ketamine every time I go to the gym. So go to MackWeldon.com and get 20% off using promo code CUMTOWN, everybody. The greatest promo code you've ever heard in your life. C-U-M-T-O-W-N, 20% off. MackWeldon.com. Check them out. And we're back. Let's we're roll, baby. Roll right into the episode. And, and uh, not to toot our own horns, and we won't mention the company unless you motherfucking pay us. But uh, our Super Bowl picks were correct. Yes, I hope they you made were. some money on the yeah. Eagles. I also made that pick to people in DMs. Oh, really? People really? come to me with gambling questions because you of, just said Eagles? because of my crypto calls. <laughs> really? Yeah. Um, um, and then yeah, we were right about the tr- amount of Trump tweets. We were right about the, the concussion. All the prop bets we got. We were right. right. Make sure you actually talk into the microphone. And do I'm your talking job. into the microphone. No, right you now. were looking at Stav and holding the microphone to your cheek. But my mouth <laughs> was speaking into the microphone. No, it was I got not. something about to hold up to your cheek, Adam. Um, do you want to know what it is? I'm not going to tell you, but it's my penis. You just told. You him. told him. Ah, uh, but no, it's just it's a misdirect. It's actually my balls. Um. Oh my god. Anyway, so Frazier's dad died, guys. Yeah, oh shit! I forgot about that. That's John sucks. Mahoney. Mm-hmm. I didn't know he was British. Did you know he was British? Yep. Yeah, of course. Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah, that's crazy. And his sons weren't British. Yeah, yeah even that's, though, wow. that's, that's hence twist. acting. You fucking idiot. That's yeah. wild, though, bro. Yeah. yeah, he didn't seem British at all. Because like even the McNulty. Dog. Yeah, McNulty. He seems bra- you know. I kind of know he's not from Baltimore. Right, yeah. Well, like, his accent on the wire is terrible. Yeah, it's not very. But even in that episode shit. where he has to do an, a like, British, he does the Baltimore accent. He does, he but it sounds ridiculous. Accent. He has to do a British accent on a sting. He does that too. too okay, when he that's not what we're horse. talking about. We're talking about a different. When episode, he does the so. murder, when he's faking the murderer, he you has calm like, down, uh, Adam. Yeah. Okay. Sorry, I, th- I know you thought you knew something and you could have corrected someone. I've seen the whole wire. I've seen um, it, guys. He, yeah. Actually, you've seen a show called The Liar, and it's the self-facing camera on your phone. Mm-hmm. When you were you actually you were looking at yourself in your phone yeah. while watching a different TV. And show. if anyone's interested in watching that show, it's going to be on Showtime. <laughs> <laughs> when you walk through the garden, you will encounter a bug. <laughs> 
Um, yeah, he does a horrible, like, Glenn Bernie-ish, over-the-top Baltimore yeah. accent. He definitely worked with a dialect coach. And then he while. does, but he does yeah. do the British. That's What's a funny up, episode. man? My name is Dialect. <laughs> 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 yeah, I work in the major motion picture industry. <laughs> Did you hear about this fucking, this FEMA contractor, FEMA, like, a yeah, like, $150 million yeah, contract yeah. to it's, some lady that's like, Divine Inspirations awesome. LLC. You know, Incredible. She's like, she's, I'm sure she's spent... Most of the money on scented candles <laughs> and bath bombs. Yeah, they ordered like 3.5 million meals. And yeah, 30 like million meals and she made... 30 million meals, yeah. Yeah, 30 million meals and she made, she delivered like 20,000. Yeah. Oh, 50, my 50, God. Yeah. yeah. That's it's wild, a disaster. Dude. Yeah. <laughs> just, and like probably nothing's going to happen. Like Puerto Rico's just going to keep getting fucked. Yeah. And she's just going to yeah. like not have to pay the money back or something. I don't fucking it's know. It's still fucked there, I think. Yeah. Right? Oh, yeah. They're real fucked. Well, the meal, the, the problem is that they're so fucking picky with the meals. Uh-huh. It's uh-huh. true. They would only eat like mofungu and, <laughs> and, and macaw, ch- macaw yeah. chicken wings. <laughs> macaw wings? Deep fried yeah. macaw wings? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Man, I need my fucking $20,000 dinner, man. <laughs> you gotta kill these delicious fruity birds. <laughs> the hurricane? <laughs> she make it so I can not eat my pretty birds? <laughs> <laughs> I want to eat the spicy pretty bars, but I can't. Well, I had no idea that was the biggest problem in Puerto Rico <laughs> right now. <laughs> yeah, I got my finger on the pulse. I know what's going on down there in Puerto Chico, where I had my summer vacation this year. That's right. Last year. I was, you know, I was wearing that Panama hat while nude in my bedroom the other day. Yeah. Of course. And I thought, what a nice little trip that was. Yeah, Puerto, Puerto, Puerto Rico. Rico? Smoking Puerto some Chico. cigars. Yeah. You enjoy... Every time I've asked you how it was, you said you did, yeah, not, you did enjoy not enjoy it. yourself. But. Yeah, but it's now I've spent some time away. You know so what I like? So now you're like, oh, it was a great trip. Yeah, I like I like looking back on things when you can't remember the pain. You yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Being yeah. dark. You it know? is funny because it's like... Understanding your dark past. Oh, Yeah. Absolutely, the hard, the struggle I went through, it and being forced to go to Puerto Rico for <laughs> a birthday. <laughs> it is funny because if we think about like when we met and became friends, it's like funny stories we've told. Both of us were probably at the one of the worst parts of our lives. That's true. We were so depressed. You were like six hundred and fifty uh-huh. pounds. Yeah, I was bad as shit. I was ordering wine at Sidebar <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> to prevent myself from drinking. <laughs> yeah, the wine had was, dust in it. Yeah, it was horrible. They were like not even sure they had it. Yeah. <laughs> and then they were like, oh yeah, I mean, I guess if you want to drink this. <laughs> right. <laughs> uh, but now we look back fondly. Yeah, oh life is good. Now. If you think my dick doesn't work now, whew, you should have seen when I was fat. It even fatter. oh, it was worse then. Yeah. Oh, I thought it just got worse as you got yeah, older. Really, your dick. The fatter used I to get, work the fatter I get, the worse my dick is. Are you sure that's how it works? For I guess sure. So. Yeah, yeah. For sure. No, it's yeah. circulation. Yeah, it's something? a circulation problem. Yeah. That's and then that when I hit sense. the when I hit the stationary. That's why I'm going to get a stationary bike in my in your apartment. Uh, in my bedroom. That's why I'm, my new thing mm-hmm. now is smirculation. Mm-hmm. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? I like to smile at my dick <laughs> <laughs> until it gets hard. <laughs> uh, I, I like wanna... to give my my dick a little grimace. <laughs> oh, a grimace to uh-huh. get it back soft. That's right. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm going to get a little bike for my balls. My balls are the feet. On and my dick is the this, head. Okay. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I would like it if my dick and balls could walk like the, <laughs> yeah, the yeah. keep on trucking guy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. For sure, man. That'd be a cool look. That would be an awesome look. <laughs> just put your balls on a table and just fucking start wandering. That would be fucking cool. I also watched a bunch of movies this weekend. I watched the what Sopranos episode last night where Tony takes Meadow to college. That's, oh, that's the a best good episode. It's I don't know if it's, it's the, best, the best, but it's but a it's great. Good. It's considered the best episode by a lot uh, of people. By yeah, oh, a- shut Adam, up. Adam Adam's opinionsource dot com. <laughs> he pays fifteen dollars a month to get opinions told to him by other people. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yep. Wait, is that the one where he stays at the hotel and has like dreams and shit? What happens in that one? He no, sees the that, guy. That, that that, those episodes are great though. He sees yeah. a snitch. He sees oh, yeah, that, that is guy really and then he kills him. That is a really fucking. And Meadow asks him if he's in the mob. Yeah, but Meadow knows what's up. No, but she like directly Meadow's says known to him, what's like, up. Yeah. I know you're in the mob, and he's like, "What the fuck are you talking about?" And he's like, "Yeah, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah." But and I, the, yeah, they, whatever. I love that speech Meadow <laughs> gives uh, when uh, it's somebody's funeral. How about Meadow Socrano, right? Like S O C R A Y O N O. 
Okay. And yeah. she has Down syndrome. <laughs> <laughs> what about Meadow Sacrano? How about Tony, so, Tony Sacrano? Okay. You okay. know, it's the same premise. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I got I figured that Christopher. Yeah. <laughs> Christopher. Christopher. Tone. I don't have any more jelly beans, What Tone. the fuck is the matter with you, Tony? <laughs> <laughs> Tom, stop eating come, all my Twizzlers. Come, I've been going to therapy. <laughs> come, I've been going to speech pathology. <laughs> Tony Soprano. Tony, you want me to drive you to the bouncy house? <laughs> 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 you want me to drive you to Discovery Zone, Tony? <laughs> <laughs> the Chuck E. Cheese. <laughs> um, I watched... Heat, which I had never seen. What? And it, Fuck, how have you never movie. seen Heat? Dude. It ruled. You haven't it's seen anything. Movie. It was crazy. Last night I was like, I, I just typed in like uh, best thrillers of all time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then I look at the list and it's like, I've seen every single one of these movies. What are some uh -huh. movies? Well, like the Hitchcock movies? Yeah, there's thrillers? Hitchcock movies on there, but then there's like other shit. It's just, you know, I mean, that's like. Yeah, is yeah, Heat yeah. considered a thriller? No. It's an action. It's, action. A, it's a caper. Ooh, caper. I like capers. Yeah. Well, Caperberry. I love Caper. I don't know what Caperberry is, but I yeah. want it. Bagel a lot. But yeah, it was What's good her, as fuck. It, it, Charlize is in that, right? She's so hot in that. Charlize Theron? No, she's no, not. No, no. Who plays the fucking wife? Val Kilmer's wife. Ashley Judd. Ashley Judd. Ashley Judd. Yeah. That's she it. Is, yeah. She's a fucking Yo, Val Kilmer's looking good as hell. In that movie? I forget because mm -hmm. he's fat as hell and looks terrible now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But he, he like... I think he's sick. He's sick? Oh, damn. So. I'm sorry, man. He's one of my faves. Uh, he, Apparently, he's a real asshole. Of course. Is dude. he? Yeah, he's he he tweets some funny shit every once in a while, but uh, that's a good uh, De Niro's look, and Pacino just like goes between like mm -hmm. being awesome and then being hilarious. They did a movie a couple years ago. They were like, we're back together again, and then it was like one of the worst. movies Yeah, of yeah, all I remember time. that. Yeah. I was I believe I was working at Blockbuster at the time. Yeah, it was a while. Damn, you're ago. a Blockbuster guy, and you haven't seen any movies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That what was like the best part about there? Blockbuster. Was you could talk to the Blockbuster guy about movies and yeah. you'd seen fucking everything. I watched a lot of. I hadn't seen anything going in. Like, if yeah, you you're I, like, yeah. See, my thing is more the candy. Yeah, No, I saw. I saw a bunch of Scorsese movies that I hadn't seen. Like what? Uh, King of Comedy. King of Comedy. Oh my a god! I love that. Did you watch Bringing Out the no, Dead? No, no, not not this time. I Did you watch Bringing Out the Dead? No. You fucking. Imbecile. I watched. It's, I watched, I watched History of recently. Violence. It doesn't hold up. It doesn't. hold I up. I loved it when I was a teenager. It wasn't as good as I remembered. Yeah. I watched History of Violence. It is nice That's to get a, a glimpse of uh, an old type of New York that doesn't really exist anymore. Yeah, like the fucking. Where was it? Like Hell's Kitchen? Yeah. 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 It's like Midtown like, Manhattan. Yeah. 95. Just oh, when it was shit. all crackheads and trannies. Yeah, and yeah, stuff. Even yeah. in 95, it was that bad? Yeah, oh, dude. Yeah, it was Up rough. until like the the late 90s, like early. No, my aunts lived in Hell's Kitchen my whole life. And yeah. I remember like going to visit. I was just and, there. It's pretty cool now. It's like, yeah. Do you remember I mean, it's Mark not cool. like prostitutes walking around. Yeah, yeah. What's that? Mark Anthony's character in that movie? He was like the local the, drug addict. Yeah, yeah. But Does he, he get impaled on the thing at the end or? I forget what happens to him, but he's just constantly covered in, in shit in like the, yeah. the entire movie. And then you watch it and you realize, oh, my God, that's that's Mark Anthony. But um, how about let's talk about History of Violence because I saw that, too. That's and good. I got to say, Vigo, there's a scene in there where he really eats pussy big time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And salute to any movie that shows that kind of graphic. Yeah. I love when the, I love when the gay no, yeah, the gay uh uh son of the mob boss in Eastern Promises like <laughs> you fuck her. You fuck her for me. He's like watching Vigo. No Eastern fuck. No Eastern Promises spoilers yeah, yeah, guys. That, I haven't seen it yet. Man, I I could rewatch both of those movies. Let's let's rewatch let's watch Eastern They're Promises really sometime. Good. Yeah. Wait, Bro, I got the projector going. Did, uh, history of violence? Yeah. 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 History of Violence and Eastern Promises. So it's yeah. kind of like a little, uh, they're like companion films almost. Little yeah, yeah, Cronenberg, yeah. Vigo, mm -hmm. double feech. Yeah. I'm oh, yeah. down to do it. Vigo was good as hell in that shit, dude. Yeah. He's Cronenberg great. And then I watched dude. John Wick also. The first. And John Wick is like a hard dick-ass version of uh, History of Violence, if you think about mm -hmm. it. How about John Lick? And it's, it's John, <laughs> and he's got a big lollipop, and he's always <laughs> looking on it, and he's like, well, you see my dog. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's also, he's also got Lick. Down syndrome. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's just so regular. <laughs> Doesn't Keanu yeah. like in real life? He's you like, stole my twice ago. <laughs> he's like fancies himself an intellectual. No, yeah. he's a cool dude. Oh, so the I Adam Friedland. Cool. Yeah, no, yeah, no, yeah. because like the joke about him <laughs> yeah. was that he was retarded. Yeah, he right? fancies himself an intellectual. No, I no, think Keanu he, rocks. Yeah, he does rock, but like. 
The yeah. joke about him was nice like, guy. whoa. You know, his life like, is also retarded. tragic. Everyone he's yeah. ever loved has been like fucking died. He's kind of is Kelsey, John Wick. Same with yeah. Kelsey Grammer. Yeah, but Kelsey Grammer seems like a dickhead. Yeah. He's and, a horrible person. Including Mahoney. Yeah. The yeah. Fraser curse. The yeah. Fraser curse, dude. Yeah. That, that lady with big tits, that blonde lady, his wife. Yeah. His uh-huh. ex-wife. Is she they call that next? the Gone with the Wind curse. Everyone who was in the movie Gone with the Wind is dead. <laughs> It's crazy. I never weird? thought of that. Whoa. Think about that? Holy, Holy shit. It's fucking insane, yeah. dude. Everyone in Third Man is now dead. What the fuck? Everyone in Birth of a Nation yeah. is now dead. The first movie. Right? That wasn't the first movie. <laughs> wasn't that like one of the first ones? People say it's like one of the first, you know, great movies. But Which is wild it's... to like put that on the... I feel like you should get disqualified. Because mm-hmm. it's racist. How about a movie called yeah. Burp of a Nation, right? Mm-hmm. And it's a mm-hmm. documentary about microbreweries okay. for people who like bullshit like that. <laughs> <laughs> but then it's also racist. I mean, yeah. That makes sense. Yeah. A no, lot of microbrewery good. guys look like racists. Yeah. There's a, painting... a sequel to Making a Murderer called Blaming a Black Guy. Mm-hmm. Oh, Stephen yeah. Avery finally figures out the solution to his problem. <laughs> <laughs> that would be good there's a painting in the met someone was telling me recently people want to take down because the artist i guess from like the 1800s or whatever is a pedophile oh and come the subject on subject is a baby well then we can't so even have like geometry that, you right know? We because can't, they, they were all sucking to, to measure little boys' cocks. To figure out how to <laughs> yeah. fuck it. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The circumference of which little boy's asshole matches your penis. Exactly. That's why they learned not that's the Pythagorean point, theorem, and the other one. that's why you got to respect the art, you know? You What's gotta, the circle one? Which one? They want, is it Walt Whitman? Yeah, it's that's another Walt, guy who yeah, fucked yeah, kids. Yeah, you, no, you can't read any Walt Whitman. No, it's not a Walt Whitman. Leaves, leaves are his dick and yeah. wind is a boy's ass. Yeah. If you go back no, and read all no, of... No, Leaves of Grass was about smoking Did you see this thing with the, about uh, uh, Fleetwood Mac? Some people were mad that like Fleetwood Mac, the, apparently all the band members got paid the same, which is like... Initially, people were like, oh, that's gender equality. But then it was like, well, Stevie Nicks was the star of the band, right, so right, she right. should have gotten way more yeah, money. Yeah, the bassist got as much as Stevie oh, okay. Nicks. Yeah. Yeah. I, I'm wrong. It was a painting of a young woman with her legs sort of exposed uh, and her panties, like the crotch of her, of her panties. It's by every, the artist like, Balthus. Every medieval... Well, first of all, what does pedophile even mean back then? Yeah, because well, you got was, to just it, fuck means, uh, it means someone who fucks. It was kids. early twentieth yeah. century. <laughs> it had the same. It had the same meaning back then. I'm but you know sure. what I mean? Didn't yeah. everyone fuck kids? Like, weren't you getting them married at eleven? Anyway, the Met has refused. How about a show it. instead of married with children, it's married to children. <laughs> oh. You're really yeah. on today, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 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 And then what happens? Oh, wish have sex. <laughs> Dude. It's a kid that's trying yeah. to get fucked for. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's the pedophile that molested Blake. Can't get hard. <laughs> All right. oh, I forgot we about that. Someone else. Sex out. Um, yeah, that's a great story. <laughs> that's a great story about my friend being assaulted. Yeah, it was really married to children. Um, about a lazy pedophile <laughs> <laughs> who's grown complacent now that his wife is fourteen. <clears throat> yep. Well, I wanted to talk more about that FEMA contractor. That well, story is so funny. It. Let's uh, talk more about it, man. Well, I don't know. I mean, I just mentioned it, and then we kind of moved on. You can go back. No, I just saw can. movies, and no, I wanted to talk about them. I also saw Kill Bill again. It's my favorite movie, I think. Yeah? I love Kill Bill. Your favorite movie out of I all I think so, movies? yeah. Why not? Although now Tarantino's, he said that, what did he say? That, Roman like, Polanski that girl wanted didn't it? rape her, Ugh. but he had sex with her. That's tough. I don't know. I didn't read the thing, but that's just not a good... Why even make a comment, even if you believe that? I don't Clinton, know. Yeah, I you're don't... Gonna, you're coming through on his... On no, I Polanski's just don't think side. it changes whether, like, Kill Bill was good or not. It, it doesn't make you feel a little weird? No. Listen to this. Doug Shifter, a New York livery driver, said he killed himself to illuminate how ride-hailing services have devastated taxi workers financially. Oh, nice. Yeah, it's like that. He killed himself. Couldn't you have just written a blog? Yeah, man. What a drama queen. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it would like... That sucks. Yeah. yeah that's I don't sad. like that he, that guy killed himself. I'll be honest, guys. That's kind of fucked up. Because a lift? A lift made him kill himself? Uh, yeah, something. Damn. Last spring, 
by Ravi Desai, a middle-aged woman without a driver's license and thus an unlikely leader for... What if the podcast is just me reading the New York Times? <laughs> That'd be fun. Is that illegal? No, I don't think I so. I feel like no. it would be illegal for me to just no. read... You have to it. change every fourth word. Oh. So try it. Last, it's the gray lady. It's the paper of record. Last, last ass spring... <laughs> By Ravi Desai, a middle-ass aged woman without a driver's ass license and thus an unlikely leader for thousands of mostly male-ass drivers in the world's largest ass market for hired-ass vehicles. Dog loophole, yeah, baby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. Let's make our own newspaper. Yeah. Got him. New York Times. The Come Down yeah. Times, dude. Yeah. <laughs> The New, York York New Jack Times. <laughs> New Jack Times. <laughs> Just put, uh, yeah, the New York Ass Times. The New York Ass Times. <laughs> <laughs> Who's ready for the world ass news today? <laughs> <laughs> Delivered an emotional testimony in front of New York Ass City's Taxi and Limousine Commission about the mounting existential difficulty oh, in her field. The executive ass director of the New York <laughs> <laughs> Taxi Workers Alliance. Miss Desai had been a labor activist. We should do that for real. What? Kill ourselves in front of City Hall? Yeah, that'd be cool. I feel or, like that's the goal for any any white man is to kill yourself in front of City Hall. Mm -hmm. They've yeah, taken everything from us. Municipal Just say they've taken everything from us and let them figure out what you mean. Mm -hmm. You know. I love that Simpsons episode where Homer becomes the sanitation commissioner. I don't remember that one. That is a great episode. What happens in that one? Um, he. How does he get it? Uh, well, he gets into a fight with the trash men initially because they put a bunch of like he didn't want to take the trash out and they take it out and then like uh, they don't they just pass by him and he mm -hmm. yells at them and then mm -hmm. they, he gets into a fight with them. And nice. They, they won't pick up his trash anymore. And then Marge forges his signature to write an apology letter to the sanitation. Hell yeah. And then he gets into it with the sand. That might be a later episode too, because I think Steve Martin guest stars oh, as the uh, sanitation director, as the real sanitation guy. Hmm. But it has that musical number. Uh, Can't somebody else do it? <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. oh yeah. Can? Isn't the mob? Yeah, yeah. Isn't the mob? No, uh, Homer starts letting other cities dump their trash That's into right. the city, That's right. and then the entire city erupts in garbage. Oh, I remember that. Yeah, and there's a yeah. wall of garbage. No, it just Is boils up one? from under the. And then they would just move the town. They oh. move the entire town like, down, like five miles down the road. <laughs> <laughs> that's cool. We should do that with a different planet, huh, boys? Huh? Yeah, yeah that's what I'm saying. That's what Elon yeah. Musk is trying to do. Yeah. That guy sucks, right? He's selling flamethrowers now, although yeah, that's cool. I, well, I don't really have a problem with Elon Musk, but the people that idolize him are fucking weird. Yeah. Yeah, they're lame ass. Didn't he, like, fire a secretary or something because she asked for a raise? Or Did he? He's, like, a libertarian, sort of. Oh, yeah, I think he's against unions, maybe. No, nah, yeah. she, she asked for a raise, and then he was like, how about you just take a week off and let me see what you actually do? And then, like, there was no change in his productivity. <laughs> he was like, oh, yeah, you're fine. I guess you shouldn't even have been working here. Damn. Whoa. That's cold-blooded, dude. Yeah, obviously D secretaries aren't supposed to do anything. Yeah, you just look cute for the for the you boss. Pick up the phone. You know? That's mm -hmm. all the... Mm -hmm. What an asshole. You know? You get pregnant. You get an abortion. Like this, like Mad Men. That's what secretaries do. Yeah. Should we get one of those? A Mad Men-style secretary? Um, I'm trying to think of a show <laughs> called Mad Men. <laughs> but it's got Don... Diaper in it. Down <laughs> Draper. Yeah, yeah. Down Draper. Down Draper. <laughs> yeah. Can I ask you something? <laughs> Why do you smoke? <laughs> no, hold on. Can I ask you something? Why do you eat butterfingers? <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I don't know. I guess that's what we ate during the war. <laughs> I just, I just like it. You just like it. <laughs> that's perfect. Thank you. <laughs> Oh, uh, fuck, dude. Yeah. Uh, that's good. Yeah. But anyway, I don't know. Fuck Elon Musk, I guess. Shouldn't we have, like, cooler shit by now? Um, It was cool when he got the rocket to land right side up. That was pretty cool. I don't remember that. That's the coolest thing I think he's done. He, like, got a rocket, like, instead of, like, just, like... You know, falling. Oh, back that, that's kind of cool. Upon re-entry, to like land, like like Star Wars. I would like, just like rich way. guys to pay to give poor people more money. That's kind of my stance. I think he. Yeah, I I, I don't know enough about it, but I, I think I'm like f Jeff Bezos probably. and his fucked up eye. Fuck that guy. How about yeah, Jeff I mean, Jeff Beatsoff. That's good. That's mm -hmm. cool. 
I like that. Mm-hmm. I, I'd like that guy more than Jeff Bezos. Bezos. How about Beth Jazoff? J- Jeff Bezos? B- Jeff Jazoff. Jeff Jazoff, yeah. <laughs> He's a cool cousin that beats off. <laughs> 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 He's always felt inferior to his jacking off mm-hmm. cousin. That's why he became so successful. Yeah, yeah. A- Amazon, you know? Yeah, yeah. Glamazon. He's a gay. When I shop so hard, I come. That's, yeah. what I, that's when I Amazon. <laughs> um. Uh, what about the Winter Olympics? Are we excited about those? Oh, yeah. <laughs> invited, did Claire dude. invite you to that Winter Olympics opening ceremony, ceremony party that starts at 6 a.m.? I think, uh, yeah, I think it was a bit on Facebook. Oh, was, was it? Well, she joke? sent me a personal message saying, like, hey, I'm having a... Oh. And I was like, what the... I, I don't it know. It seems really, like a fucking joke. I don't really read Facebook. But you don't have Facebook, so how no, else would she it was on Instagram. She messaged me. Oh, yeah. Well, you don't have a Facebook. I don't know. I mean, I'm not shitting on Claire, but, like, who, who the fuck gives a shit about the... Winter I Olympics. assume it's a bit, but maybe she used to ice skate or something. She seems like she could or went skiing maybe. or something. Yeah. I'm just maybe ready. she went skiing once. You I'm know? just excited for Pyeongchang to finally have its moment in the spotlight. Pyongyang? Pyeongchang. No. What's that? Is where the Winter Olympics are. Is it pronounced thing. Chang or Yang? Because everyone Pyongyang is the capital of North Korea. Yeah, Pyeongchang is where the Winter Olympics is. In South Korea? Where's Pyeongchang? Oh, speaking South of... Uh, Korea, South Korea. Speaking of, oh. it, SpaceX has launched into space the world's most powerful rocket, the Falcon Heavy, named after Jonah Falcon. Elon Musk's yeah, yeah, personal idol. Thing, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 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 it's carrying a cherry red sports car as its payload. That is the gayest that thing I've dick. ever heard. He sent a car into space? Yeah, a red sports car. Ugh. That's so stupid. Ugh. Yeah, so some alien's going to find it and be like... This must be a gift. So he's a cla- from Earth. <laughs> Ty- 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 <laughs> <laughs> Alien <Yeah>. typo. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's just what they. Uh, oh, 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 interesting. Because yeah. they They're don't have weird. as much oxygen on other mm, planets. That so makes they, sense. Yeah. They need the chromosomes in their lungs, mm. so they have extra of them. Mm. Um, so Elon Musk is just a nerd who's trying to be cool. Is really what it comes down to. I guess he's a billionaire that's trying to live in space off like yeah. other people's hormones, and then or live for like four hundred years. <laughs> yeah, or yeah, yeah, yeah. Damn. He definitely is getting some weird injections. Oh, okay, yeah, we're at 137 for Caroline's ticket sales. That's not bad. That's not bad. But we, we should could do be, more. Yeah. What's it? Three. We should we do a capacity? flyer? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We yeah. should do a, a flyer. And put it I on. know we are nine days out. <laughs> yeah, maybe we should. Um, I'll I'll figure that out today. Okay, there you go. Yeah. Show a little initiative. Yeah, mm. thanks, guys. You know? Yeah, start yeah. pulling your weight around here. No, I mean I'll just do find someone else to do it. Yeah, but yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll make the flyer and I'll put it out today. <laughs> Why? <laughs> because I know how to fucking do that kind of thing. I know how you to do it. You can't draw. Too. You're a fucking idiot. Are That's you drawing true. it? I'll you draw. Might. I'll He's draw. Been drawing. Yeah. He's good at drawing. I know how to draw. Okay. Nixon, in the, when he gets in his little fucking artistic, I didn't send you guys, but this guy drawings. took some pictures in DC that are very nice. Nice. Let's see him. And Adam just loves pictures of himself. He's a fucking narcissist. I don't love pictures He's of like, myself. He's like, wow, these pictures are so nice. It's just pictures of him. <laughs> it's not it's of me. Of it's him. of us. Me and you were eating saltines <laughs> yeah, in the background like 15 shit. feet away. <laughs> That's not true. <laughs> it's uh, it's Adam with a fat guy and a different guy with a mustache. <laughs> it's like, guys, look how good we look. Adam just completely <laughs> zoomed in on his own face. I'm not. That's not true. <laughs> wow. What a great picture of us. <laughs> it, they are nice pictures of us. <laughs> I'll show them to you. Fuck I want to see them too, man. You asshole. But it's you guys to... look cute. Thanks, man. And I look cute too. And yes, that was guess a fun what? trip. I want to go on another trip. We got to. We do... got to book shows emails... on the road. Dude. I'm, already, I'm working on it. I got Austin, Austin? coming up. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We, we got to talk. Well, we got to figure out this Caroline thing because if we don't sell our Carolines, we're fucked. Because I'm looking pathetic. at I'm looking at uh, at. Uh, 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 venues in Austin. I got Matt Bearden's helping me out, bro. We're yeah, not. Yeah, fuck. Yeah, yeah, we yeah. won't be. Fucked. We're not going to be. Fucked. 137 right. a week out's fine. We'll get it go. We'll get it. Yeah, yeah, we'll, well what were we out. at when with Black Cat like a week out? We we're at like I can 300. check for you. Yeah, but we we've been we've been it promoting better. it for fucking a month in advance. Yeah. Guys, you got to come out February 15th. <laughs> There's no funny moms. <laughs> yeah, ever again. Actually, unless we're we sell a dispute out with the unless we sell out. There's no funny moms next week. Just uh, the show at Caroline's, and then we'll be back uh, at at. Come on, everybody! Don't on tell the twenty seventh, I believe. No, we won't be unless we, we sell it be. out. Unless, unless they we sell, yeah. If we don't sell out, we're demands. gonna fucking kill ourselves. Yeah, we we're gonna kill Adam. Pack. Yeah, we gotta sell out. This and is... we're all gonna do it. We're all definitely yep. gonna kill ourselves. Adam's gonna go we first. Read to it. I'm, I'm not gonna, gonna go, go first, first, but we are gonna do it. 
because I believe you guys, but I just want you guys to no, you're I going see first. I'm going to kill myself first. in front of City Hall, and then the New York Times <laughs> has to write an article about it. And you know, then we'll like, sell out the next one for sure. Yeah, they're for like, this guy sure. killed himself because nobody came to his show at Caroline's. Yeah. So please don't do that, guys. The I editor in chief of the New York Ass Times. You know, yeah, you know how the pot is when Nick is clearly reading his phone and me and Adam are just going back and forth. Imagine that's what the just the pot is. If we don't sell out Caroline's and Nick kills himself, so uh-huh. yeah, it's just going to be me and Stav going back and forth. Mm-hmm. I mean, you're lucky that I'm not at you know eight percent body fat yet, because obviously I can't kill myself until yeah. that's true. I might, get, yeah. I might spend my last Patreon check on liposuction. Right oh yeah, kill that's yeah. good. Bring the body yeah, fat yeah, yeah, down. Yeah. That would be cool uh, if you got liposuction. Like, that would be really funny, actually. Where would you <laughs> get it? Where would you get it suctioned from? Uh, lower back and lower stomach. Your lower is that where you possess fat? That's where everybody does. Yeah. Lower back. I don't that's think the I first place. That's the first place you gain weight. Is mm. you know like this area, the love handle. Oh yeah, the love handle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The muffin tops. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, that's the first you, place though? you gain weight. Last place you lose it. Oh, interesting. Oh, nice. Yeah, unless you have. Uh, it's too much estrogen in your bloodstream. Uh-huh. And in then which what case, happens? you get breasts and hip fat, leg fat. No, I've me. never gained weight on my legs, ever. Really? Never once. No. It's yeah, never fucking know. happened to me once in my fucking life. little line. chicken leg ass Yeah, I got, I'm a chicken leg, too. No, yeah. I don't have chicken legs. I'm, a, I'm what they call a chicken head, actually. <laughs> you do give... You, I'm a real a chicken head. Bark, yeah. bark, <laughs> chicken, chicken. Bark, bark. I'm a real chicken hood head. rat. The beautiful chicken. chicken. <laughs> we cannot have her anymore because of the hurricane. She take that beautiful chicken. <laughs> The and she killed her. Uh, how about this? So FEMA paid five dollars each for those meals. <laughs> yeah, probably. It's a, it was an enormous contract. What about this for? A That's good insane. Joke? Just send McDonald's. Yeah, it's yeah cheaper. Just, yeah, <laughs> you, just yeah. fucking contract out to 50, McDonald's. Five fifty each for those meals. I don't know if it was landed or whatever. It's like this stupid combination of like, all right, we're gonna have something bloated and huge, like the government deal uh-huh. with like disaster relief, it. which like the government should be doing. Yeah. But then we're gonna contract this all out to fake tiny to companies. Tiffany Brown, right, right. right? Yeah. And her eleven employees. Yeah. To black right. ladies. That Zero they like employees. She like black? Trump. Do we she, know if she's black? She. I one hundred percent. First of all, all you need to say is government contractor, and then you know. No, dude. What the fuck? I mean, a lot of them. My dad works for like a a, a contractor in the yeah, entire mo- office. This is all just, you know who. <laughs> yeah. I don't you know, know I mean? if most of government contractors are black people is true. I don't know. I feel like that's the federal government, true, the federal dude. government is filled with black people. Well, yeah, but yeah, those are actually people who live people. in D.C. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like, but like government contractors are like, yeah. Also, when like I think government consulting, contracts, consulting it like, M- McKinsey, yeah, consulting, yeah, 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 yeah like, yeah. yeah. Like fucking, uh, what are those other companies? Deloitte. Deloitte, yeah. Oh, just mm-hmm. thieves. Just like yeah, fucking, yeah. they don't do shit. They yeah. do nothing. Ernst & Young, I think, is another one. I was talking to my friend that... They can suck my fat nuts. That was working at Deloitte or McKinsey And or like missile companies. Yeah. Boeing. That's a plane, right? Sure. What's the... Raytheon, is that... Raytheon, yeah. That's they make missiles? a Tomahawk cruise missile. Oh, I thought Damn. that was the person on Twitter that was... <laughs> yeah, Lana Del Raytheon. Yeah. Dude, that's, fuck. That me. was the... I, I, it's so funny I how, it was how much how much these fucking idiots just eat, consume themselves. It's really funny. It's yeah. almost it's like the, you feel like I feel like you don't really hear much about the alt right anymore because it's kind of unnecessary. You can mm. just let the left destroy itself. <laughs> yeah, this is a fucking <laughs> right. uh, that shit at, at Barnes and Noble with Rose McGowan. Yeah, yeah oh yeah, yeah. yeah you yeah. have Rose McGowan screaming at that trans woman who's dragged out, screaming, well, Rose McGowan, shut the fuck up, yeah. screaming, cis, <laughs> het, white, fucking, ra- you know, racism yeah, yeah, or yeah, whatever. Yeah. And then it turns out that the trans woman raped children. Yeah, yeah. We talked about that. Yeah, on the last one, but yeah. That's wild. Bef- but before you get, it's kind of like being baptized. She's also been like so, like raped and fucking diddled in Hollywood for so many years. She's like literally just a crazy person at this point. Rose McGowan. Rose McGowan. Yeah. 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 Well, last time we talked about it, you said all trans people are bad, Adam. If I recall correctly. No, mm-hmm. I didn't. You said you're a turf. No, I you literally did. said I'm a I turf. I did not say that. You no. said turfs are right. <laughs> no, I would not. I said they were hot. I said that's a hot kind of woman. Yes. Yeah, you and, said and, and turf I said girls they, are hot. Yeah, they have yeah. long necks, I think. <laughs> I, to yeah. drink water. Yeah, I don't know so why. They, yeah, yeah, no, that's how so they evolve. They, yeah. so they, they get closer to puddles. So you start with a little ass necked lady. <laughs> <laughs> no. I think that it's it's just different, but trans women probably have a harder life than cis women. Yeah, but you can't say that they have the same experience. No, I agree with that. Yeah, that's all I was saying. But any, but yeah, the left will cannibalize itself, and we're fucked. Mm. 
So that's why this is now officially back to being. An are all we right, all right all again? Right podcast. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude! Dude, I, those those the clown sweet... prints. Oh yeah, oh Nick's putting on his makeup. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Friends, <laughs> let me tell you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm mad that that bit was only on a premium episode. Oh, that's a yeah. great bit. Well, if you want to subscribe to premium, you could hear Nick's great pastor that just hot topic saw, pastor that just saw the <laughs> Dark Knight. <laughs> yeah, was that was a really good, good one. I'm sure someone will steal it and put it on YouTube for I'm sure. sure it's Which honestly, I done. prefer. That then drives what? that drives listeners to the show. Yeah, is yeah. if people just put the fucking the only parts of the show that are funny on YouTube. Yeah, it makes the whole show seem funny. Yeah, yeah. wait. Oh, they figured out a way to cut out Adam's microphone? Yeah. Yeah, they can do that. <laughs> there is technology for that. <laughs> All right. Well, we're going to wrap it up. Caroline's February 15th. Please come out. Yes.